Sure. Um, my name is Cecily Begley. I'm Professor of Midwifery in Trinity College Dublin in Ireland. Um, and I work with students, I teach students, I do clinical practice and I research in the area of maternity care. Mm -hmm. Okay, from your point of view, what is the basic evidence for primary care or for continuum model of care? Well, there's been a lot of research done worldwide on mid midwife-led care and primary care in the community. Uh, we conducted a randomised trial in Ireland which compared midwife-led care with consultant-led care and we found that um, the care given by midwives was as safe as the consultant-led care. It cost much less, uh, women were much more satisfied and the baby's condition was better. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in Ireland we have two midwife-led units that, that provide totally midwife-led care. We also would have midwife-led uh, clinics in most of the hospitals that would be run totally by midwives who would carry out antenatal care all the way through pregnancy. Not just for women at low risk but also for women at high risk who would then go on to labour under the mm -hmm. care of obstetricians perhaps. Mm -hmm. From your point of view, what are the, the, the best advantages to women and to the, to the child? Well, first of all, women prefer midwife-led care because they're dealing usually with a woman, although we have male midwives as well. Um, they have more time because the consultants are always busy. They have to go and deal with very ill women or high-risk women or they have to work in theatre. Whereas the midwives have more time, they can sit with the women, talk to them about their concerns and they get to know them so that if anything arises in pregnancy, they will see it immediately and they'll detect a problem mm -hmm. and they can then refer the midwife to a doctor if she needs any help. And then the doctor deals with that complaint. It might be as simple as having the flu, you know, influenza, um, or it could be diabetes or a problem with the baby not growing. And then if that problem is solved, the midwife is referred, or the woman is referred back mm -hmm. to the midwife again. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how, how do you, how do you uh, recognize safety? It means what do you mean behind safety? Mm. Because in Czech we do have specific standards like yes. C-section and this kind of things, yes. which are uh, which are used as a, as a normal safety pr procedure. What are your uh, are you, or what are your views on safety? Mm. Well, in our midwife-led trial, comparing midwife-led and consultant-led care, the parameters we looked at for safety was how the babies were and how the women were as well. But, for instance, there was exactly the same rate of um, babies needing resuscitation or the same number of babies needing to go to the intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. The women had the same number of postpartum hemorrhages, infections, you know, everything was exactly the same in the two groups. In fact, there was a slight trend towards everything being slightly better in the midwife-led care group. Um, you asked about caesarean sections in, mm -hmm. in terms of safety. The caesarean section rates were the same in both groups, slightly lower in the midwife-led care. But um, in Ireland and across Europe in general, we feel the caesarean section rate is too high because caesarean section is actually a serious oper operation for women. And although the risk for women dying in childbirth is tiny, very, very, very tiny, women are nine times more likely to die after caesarean section than they are after normal birth. And I think um, obstetricians, midwives and women forget this because so, it's so infrequent the happening that women die. So cesarean section is not an operation to be undertaken lightly and certainly it should only be done when a woman has a, has a true medical reason mm -hmm. for needing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I think we have spoken about it, but I will turn the question to from the opposite side. In the Czech Republic, a normal birth, a physio 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 physiological birth, mm -hmm. it's not uh, seen as a normal. So what you, would you say, what your your arguments that uh, physiological birth is the normal one? Okay. It's the safe one. It's, it's horrifying to me to yeah. hear that physiological birth is not the normal, because to me it is the normal. It's the safest for mother and baby. Mm -hmm. And what we should be doing as midwives and obstetricians is expectant care. We should be expecting the normal with a normal healthy woman. We should be expecting the normal to happen. And then we watch and we wait and we support and guide because the woman knows her own body and she will birth if she's left on her own with support to do it. And then if a problem arises, the midwife will notice the problem and she'll do something gentle and in tune with the woman's body to try and solve that problem. Mm -hmm. So the kind of interventions that we should not be using are um, acceleration of labour, putting in a cannula, putting in oxytocin, yes. infusion, 
because that causes a cascade of intervention. Mm -hmm. If you put in oxytocin, which is the same drug as the woman has in her own body to start labour off, but a synthetic oxytocin is quite severe, so it causes more painful contractions. The baby gets more distressed, and then because he's distressed, perhaps she has to have a fetal monitoring done electronically, and that means she's now in bed rather than walking around, and because of that, her labour slows down, so they speed up the oxytocin some more. She has a lot more pain, so she wants an epidural, so now she has a drip in her arm and an epidural and a monitor and the baby is getting very distressed and then she ends up with a cesarean section okay. for fetal distress which maybe should not have existed at all okay. and was totally caused by this cascade of one yes. intervention yes. after yes. another. Well, I'm a little saddened when I've, I hear how interventionist childbirth is in the Czech Republic and I'm sorry for the women here because childbirth is a wonderful experience and if it can be preserved to be normal and natural, then it is, it is a transforming experience for women and I think women should be allowed to have that and not be denied it. For the midwives, I'm sorry, because they don't seem to be allowed to have autonomy to give the kind of care that they've been educated to give. And that's, that's very frustrating for a midwife when they have the skills and they want to support women and they're not being allowed. So I hope that things will change in your country soon. And the way they will change, the, the way that midwives can help them to change, is if they will read the research and try and use those research findings and lobby, fight politicians and obstetricians and their own colleagues, other midwives, who maybe don't agree with them, to try and change practice.